I don't know what it is, but recently people have been looking at me weirdly. I mean, in a way it's not them looking at me, because it feels like they're looking straight through me, but I really don't know why. Anyway, let's just get on with this tutorial. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create that ghost effect that you just saw. It's actually not too hard to create, and you can customise it like nearly as much as you want. There's so much you can do. So, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, the, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is import your footage. So, I've already done that. Now, right-click on your footage and press Make Composite Shot, and you can rename it to whatever. So, And then hit OK. Now, I'm going to just real quick mute my footage, because I talk through it. And now I'm going to skip ahead to the part where I want the video to start. And then copy and paste the timecode into the composite shot properties. So it's only the length as that. Now key out your blue or green screen or whatever colour of screen that you used. I did try the colour difference key for this but I found that I would have to use a hue and RGB key. So drag and drop that on. There's a really good tutorial on how to key out coloured backdrops uh, by Shiny Films. I'll put a link in the description. It's a very good tutorial. Right, there is a small bit of a brighter area over here and there's some background from where the green screen forgot I forgot to cover with the green screen. So all I'm going to do is I get a rectangle mask and cut out me. Push it to there. Right, so that's like the bulk of the key done because I mean we're making it semi-transparent and green anyway so if there are like some small patches like down here then that doesn't really matter. It's best to have a clean key however if you just can't do it uh, because of some reason then it's fine. So now I'm going to grab the spill removal effect and drag and drop that on and that has got rid of any green that was lingering too much and I'm also going to get the mat cleaner. Sounds like some form of cleaning stuff. Okay and I'm just gonna smooth it by like five pixels so that might have been a bit too much but yeah there we go. Now I'm going to import my background photo, which I've named background, and I'm going to drag it onto the footage. I'm going to just hide this for the time being. Okay, now we're going to make ourselves into ghosts. So now go into the controls for your footage, and go into the transform section, and set its opacity to 65, or something around that that doesn't make you so semi-transparent that you almost can't see, and not just you, because you're meant to be a ghost. So I set mine to 65, 60 also works, but I found 65 worked best for my footage. Now I'm going to find the curves effect, and just brighten it slightly, and tint it towards green. So to brighten it, just drag this bottom corner, brighten it ever so slightly as you can see that just brings it a bit more brighter and now go into the greens controls and then kind of create a curve that just tints your footage towards that greeny or whatever color that you want your ghost to be now I'm also going to grab a glow just a normal glow not a neon glow just a bog standard glow and drag that also onto the layer I'm going to set the radius to 100 and go into the per channel intensity controls and I'm going to drop red and blue right down and put this to 1.44 now I'm just going to lower its intensity down just a tiny bit because we're going to be layering up glows right now I'm going to duplicate this and set the second one's radius to 200 and I'm going to also just lower the intensity slightly and play around with the threshold. Do this a couple of times until you get something that you're happy with. Okay, so I have now got a fairly nice glow going on. You can add all sorts of other glows if you would like. So now I'm going to find the shake 
this is just to create that sort of wafty, floaty feel. So I'm just going to drag and drop shape, shake onto my footage, open up the controls, set the amount to 15, uh, set the speed to 0 0.5, and set the smooth to 1. This will just create a fairly subtle float, floaty feeling. You can customize that as much as you would like. I'm going to activate the background, and as you can see, that's very bright and very strong. So now, all I'm going to do is find a curves, drag and drop this on top of the footage, on top of the background, and now I'm going to darken the background. I'm now going to drop a blur onto the background, and that looks pretty good. Although, the moon and these lights would be far brighter than they are, at the moment. So I need to duplicate the background, grab the freehand masking tool, and then you want to just go round. doesn't have to be that neat because you can round off the mask later. And just mask out the objects that are in front of the moon. Or the objects that will be brighter. Now in this duplicate you want to delete the curves. As you can see, that has really brightened the moon back up. Now I'm going to set the roundness to something fairly high. My moon looks a little misshapen, so now I'm going to just go in and tweak this slightly. Okay. You could also do this for the windows. So once you've done that, it should look really cool now. Something is missing, and it's kind of blending these two layers together. And to do this, I'm going to find the light wrap effect. And drag and drop this onto the footage, not onto the backgrounds. Now I'm going to set the source layer to be the normal background. As you can see, this just adds a subtle glow that just, well, a subtle spill of light that can wrap around. You can change these settings as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe uh, for more videos. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials or videos that you want to see, then please leave them in the comments below. Goodbye.